Hello everyone, this is Frank from Apple One to One. And today I want to go over a couple of features within the Maps application. The first is to create a walking route. And then when we're through with that, uh, I'm going to do a map with multiple stops along the way. So first let's open Maps. We're going to create a walking route. So if you slide up, you'll see where it says Places, Guides, and Routes. Click on that, and then where it says Routes, click on that. Now, we're going to create a route. Now, I've already positioned my maps to a local park, but you can do this if you're walking along your streets or whatever. This is just how to create any kind of route that you can save and download. Hit Create a Route. So now here I am. And you're going to pick a starting point. So let's pick, double tap here, and there's your starting point. And we'll, let's go out along the lake. You see how it created that. Now, if you wanted to, tap another one. I'll tap over here and say, all right. Now, oh, you say, oh, that was a mistake. I didn't want to go that far. If you see that back arrow in the lower left hand corner hit that that'll take you back to the previous position and then tap let's say here now it goes to there if you tap where you started if you tap there it's going to say give you a couple of options close the loop and it will automatically do it and then out and back meaning it's going to track the miles out and then reverse the route on the way back. So if we hit that, all right, you see you have your double arrows, all right? And if you come up, you see that it, you're just shy of a mile and that's your directions. And out and back, we are to close the loop if we were back to where we were and then we said close loop it then is going to create a map where it will go out to that point and come back and close the loop. So here you're eight-tenths of a mile. If we didn't want to do that, if you wanted to continue on, let's say go to this point, close loop, you come back. Now you see, there you go. Hit save. You can also download the route and off line map of the region that has previously been downloaded so that's just letting you know that it's going to automatically down you can rename it okay hit done so it's going to give you directions to the park and tap on that and you're going to get your route and then when you go to routes, you're going to see there, you tap on it, and there's there it is. All righty, hope that helps. Now let's go on to the maps area. So the second thing that I'd like to talk about is how to create directions in maps and have multiple stops along the way. So I'm going to hit the arrow there to get back to my starting location. And I have an upcoming golf outing. So we're going to play three courses. So the first course we're going to play, and I'm going to put in, it's, it's Man o' War in Maryland. That, that's going to take three hours and seven minutes to get to. If I hit that arrow, uh, hit the car, it's going to give me directions. If you slide down, I can also pin it. Now, when you pin something, it's going to put it into your library. So just for sake of argument, we're going to do that now. Pin it. All right. So now if you come back, you notice in the library, there it is. The second course we're going to play is Bear Trap Dunes. Now, again, you have multiple options here. You can call, you can join, go to the website, show their menu from their restaurant, and you can review this. And again, you slide down to the bottom. You can pin it there, or if you go to more, 
you can also pin it there. So we're going to pin it. You have those three, those two rather, I should say. And then the last one is plantation lakes. Plantation lakes. All right. And again, I'm just going to hit more. And we're going to pin it. You see, we have all three there, right? So let's say we're going to start with Man of War. So we tap it. And now it's going to give us directions to Man of War. And if you notice, you can select whatever route you want to take if there's multiple routes. Under Man of War, it has Add a Stop. Click on that. And now our second golf course we're going to play is Bear Trap Dunes. Now you see Recents show you Bear Trap Dunes. So you just tap that. It's going to add Bear Trap Dunes as the second location. So if you enlarge that, you see Man of War, 32 minutes from Man of War to Bear Trap Dunes. Our third is going to be Plantation Lakes. What I, I want to tell you here is that whenever you add a location, it's always going to add it to the bottom of the list. If you decide, hey, I don't want them in that order, that's not a problem. All you have to do is when you're here, you see the three lines on each entry on the right-hand side. So if I wanted to do Plantation Lakes as the first one, you just hold it, slide it up. Then the directions will adjust so that Plantation Lakes, Man of War, and Bear Trap Dunes. Now, they have this feature which where it says now and avoid. So you have two items there, right? So if you hit now, that's going to show you a calendar. The only issue that I see with this is that it only allows you to go out about two weeks in the future. So you can't plan something for, let's say, the summer, set it up, and then just leave it. You would have to pin each trip, bring it up that way. The other option is avoid. So this is more of a scenic thing. If you want to avoid tolls, you would turn that off, and then the directions would adjust based on your settings here. If you didn't want to take any major highways, you would do that. I hope that helps some of you create some interesting maps with multiple stops, how to pin a location to your library, and how to create a walking or hiking route. Hope this helped, and uh, let us know in the comments.